very, very impressed that we managed to get the car here at all. It's been a huge amount of work, I can tell you, behind the scenes the last couple of weeks. And we're very um, impressed so far with the, the build quality of the car and also the way that the car is going. But as I said before, don't forget, it's under the skin, it's still the same car we've been running. And um, there are some differences. Some, some of the feeling of the car, the way it drives, handles is slightly different. But essentially, we know it's a good package because it's what we've been developing over the last two years. And uh, yeah, we were very pleasantly surprised with how well it's run already today. We did some good times on new tires and uh, now we're trying some some longer runs, trying to understand a little bit more about the car and what it's going to do. So um, it's going to be a, a long process. Um, it won't, we won't get to grips with it overnight. I think that the characteristics of this car are going to be quite different from the GXPR. But, uh, you know, obviously with the crew and the guys we've got on board, we're pretty confident we can get it sussed out. We'll probably be a little bit better than we've been in the past here, just for the simple reason that, you know, although the frontal area of this car is bigger, it's a wider car than Pontiac, it's also slightly shorter in height. So it's kind of hard to say exactly how it's going to stack up. But uh, overall, I think, you know, I expect us to be certainly competitive when we get to the other tracks. And I still, I think, still reasonably competitive at this track once everything settles down. I mean, obviously, it's the first time the cars run today and it looks pretty good on paper. But ultimately, you know, people haven't really got themselves going and there's a lot of other people are still working on their new cars also. You know, the interesting thing about this program is the amount of interest and support that's coming, you know, outside of the car and everything around the whole program. And I know that John Stevenson, having made the commitment to, to go forwards with this program as a GM dealer, um, it's been a big step for him and also he's received a huge amount of support and interest. I know GM's interested despite their difficulties that they're going through, they're still very interested in trying to support the program and trying to see it to, you know, through to successful uh, results and so on and we certainly are motivated to do that. So I think it's, it's really the whole, it's everything that's going on around the program that's been quite different and that is due to the, the sort of name and the legend of the Camaro as everybody has known it for many, many years and decades.